After hitting a target to build 5,000 electric cars per week worldwide in 2018, Elon Musk said Tesla is a real car company. Pass forward five and a half years to 2024, and Elon Musk tweeted something entirely different. He said when he was asked how is Tesla going competing against BYD? He said, Tesla is an AI robotics company that appears to many to be a car company. Within the space of five years, Elon Musk has gotten sick of making cars. Or has he just come up with a better plan? Elon Musk clearly doesn't see Tesla these days as a car company. And the reason is this. Within the past six months, Tesla has not really shown a particular interest in ramping up car production. Yeah, they've said this and that, you know, we're going to do this and that. But truthfully, let's have a look at the facts, guys. How fast is their automotive production ramping up? It's really not ramping up that fast. Yes, Tesla sales definitely grew from about 1.3 something million in 2022 to about 1.8 million in 2023. But realistically, that's not that significant. If Tesla had really wanted to go full steam ahead, they could have had a Mexican factory already built today. They could have been making the Model 2 in 2023, the start of that year, or even 2022 if they really wanted to. Why did they not do this? There's a key reason. Tesla are pivoting the company. I believe Elon Musk is very well aware that the automotive market is a zero-sum game. It is. Yes, full self-driving. It's coming eventually. It'll come. It'll be a profit driver for Tesla, no doubt. But it's nothing in comparison to where they plan on going, which is a completely different direction. And we're going to look at Tesla not really so much as a car company in 10 years' time, but as something entirely different. In less than three weeks, Tesla stock has fallen by more than 16%. A lot of investors are getting concerned. Hello, my friends. You're watching The Electric Viking. I'm Sam Evans. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. So what's going on with Tesla stock price? Well, like I said, December the 27th, stock price was sitting at 261 US dollars. It's now fallen to a low of, well, the lowest point it's hit for quite a while. It's sitting at $218.80. So let's just call that 219 US dollars. That means the stock price has fallen by a pretty, pretty large amount. 16% fall may not be that much in terms of some people's perception, but if you look at Tesla stock price six months ago, it's fallen even more. It was at a high of $290 six months ago. Now, yeah, $219. It's a pretty significant decline. A lot of short sellers are saying, ha ha, I told you so. Short sellers, to be honest, have already lost $70 billion over the last 10 years. Uh, if they're still around, then uh, good luck to them. I don't know how they're still around, but yeah, there's still a few getting around. Tesla is still the most shorted stock in the world, period. So what's going on? Well, Tesla stock fell an additional 3.5% today after Tesla reduced prices uh, by approximately 6% of all of its electric car models, Model Y Plus and the Model 3 Highland in China. Why do I call it the Model Y Plus? Because it's an upgraded version of the Model Y. You guys don't get it in the US yet. Will you at any point? I don't think so. I think Tesla's going to go skip the Model Y Plus and go straight for the Model Y Juniper. Anyhow, in China, Tesla reduced the prices by about 6% of its Model 3 and Model Y today. So that resulted in a 3.5% decline. In addition to that, Tesla's production at its factory in Germany has been put on hold for a couple of weeks because of supply constraints. Tesla isn't getting stock from uh, after apparently ships in the Red Sea have been taken over um, during apparently war issues, pirates, uh, whatever it is, who knows? But anyway, either way, this is actually affecting other European car makers as well, not just Tesla. They've reported how they're having to shut down their factories as well. But it is affecting investors in the short term. Some investors are clearly panicking. Now, Tesla's new price cuts in China come as competition is just rampant. Neo and BYD have, BYD in particular, have revealed new models. They've slashed price of their brand new models. The Seal U, the new Seal U, which is clearly a direct competitor to the Tesla Model Y, starts at a staggering twenty-seven thousand US dollars. It's ten thousand US dollars cheaper 
than the cheapest Model Y. Is it better? Not necessarily, but the point is this, it's very compelling for the price. And BYD have about 20 different models of electric cars. Every single one of them, prices have been reduced over the past few months. BYD just plan to crush the competition. They're saying, you know what, we don't care. We're gonna crush you into a submission. BYD know they're all making a loss. Tesla's not, everyone else is making a loss on its EV sales in China, Neo in particular, Xpeng for sure, all of them are. BYD is saying, you know what, we're gonna grind you into the dust, reduce our prices, we're gonna just compete by basically slamming you into the ground. BYD don't care. They made enough profit last year that they're gonna say, you know what, now we're happy to make no profit as long as we get rid of as many of our rivals as possible. Now, though BYD sells more vehicles than Tesla in China, Tesla did have a good December with sales jumping nearly 70% to 94,000 units from its Chinese-made plant. According to the Chinese Passive Car Association, BOED, uh, which sells plug-in hybrids and pure electric cars, sold 341,000 vehicles worldwide in December, up 45% from a year ago. So Tesla and BOED are really clearly the two biggest EV makers in the world. Very hot competition between the two of them. But rather than sort of seeing it as a Tesla versus BOED scenario, I think a lot of people are getting sidetracked because it's really Tesla and BYD which are eating up a lot of the competition. And they are really taking sales away from the competition. But at the same time, EV sales are growing worldwide. In fact, they grew by nearly 30% in 2023. So it's not a zero sum game here. Giga Berlin has been idle due to Red Sea attacks and clearly that has affected investors concerns for Tesla. In a statement to Reuters, Tesla said supply components coming from Asia will have to shift routes from the Red Sea and the Suez Canal to around the Cape of Good Hope in South Africa, which is a bit of a perilous journey, leading to longer lead times and gaps in supply chains. Swedish automaker Volvo said they're having similar issues. And yeah, though Tesla Giga Berlin isn't as productive as its plants in Shanghai and Fremont, it did reach 5,000 Model Ys produced in a week in May. That said, Tesla sales in Germany have fallen 9% year over year. So 2022 versus 2023, clearly Germany, biggest EV market in Europe, 570,000 electric cars sold in Europe in 2023. That's a huge, huge market. Tesla's shrinking side, sort of shrinking market share in Germany is a concern to investors. That said, investors probably will pay attention to the fact that Germany um, is not the only country in Europe. Tesla sales in Europe, across the, all of Europe, actually grew by more than 20% in 2023. Tesla sales in China grew by 37% in 2023. But here's the thing. Investors possibly are still looking at Tesla as a car company. They're not. In fact, I believe Tesla is getting bored with cars. Sounds crazy, but I think they are. I think they're pivoting their focus away from mass manufacturing cars at margins of what, 8, 10, 12%, that's industry average is around 8%. And they're thinking to themselves, why are we competing for what is really a zero sum scenario? I mean, this is this is a game where Tesla, doesn't matter what they do, let's say they sold 10 million cars. That's similar to what Toyota is doing today. Really, how much money can Tesla make selling 10 million cars? It's all right, it's good, but it's nothing absolutely nothing in comparison to what Tesla really wants to do. Now, even if Tesla got rid of all of its workforce and it had robots manufacturing its cars, it could significantly reduce its cost of manufacturing, probably by about 35 to 40%. That would be awesome. Tesla could sell 10 million cars, maybe 20 million cars a year. That's great, but it's still nothing in comparison to what Tesla really wants to do. And that is disrupt the global labor market. I believe Tesla is now putting the majority of its focus, might sound crazy, but I believe this is what they're doing, into its robotics division, into its neural network, not just robotics, but also building its neural network for full self-driving. But more particularly, the neural network, I believe Tesla wants to be able to use that for its robots, to enable its robots to have really advanced artificial intelligence to the point where they can learn on a daily basis, share their learnings with all the other robots in the network, and they can learn and grow their skills at an incredibly fast level. So that not only can they build Tesla vehicles, uh, SpaceX rockets, but they can do anything. 
absolutely anything for any company worldwide, Tesla would then lease their robots to other companies at a leasing fee. They wouldn't sell them, be a leasing cost where they could potentially disrupt the $30 trillion global labor market. That is 30 times bigger than the automotive market. $30 trillion. If Tesla does take the 30% that many analysts are now predicting they will take within the next five to 10 years, I don't know if that's true, that's very optimistic if you ask me, but if they did take 30%, that would be a staggering number. That's $10 trillion in sales. $10 trillion per year on a product which they could they could lease, not necessarily sell. Then you might have to get upgrades if you want to get software updates. Maybe, you're, maybe you want to get your robot to do different things. And Tesla say, yeah, yeah, sure, no worries. Just pay us an extra $50 a month for that robot. Um, and then no worries. You can have that one robot with an upgrade. They apply that price to all of the different robots across all of their global network. And this would make Tesla's car division look like peanuts it would make it look like a local a local restaurant in terms of size in terms of profit and i believe that has become very clear to tesla recently tesla therefore in my opinion are pivoting away from the automotive market which is a zero-sum game very very tough tight margins to a new market where there is zero competition tell me who exactly is in the global labor market people that is it there is currently no fully capable robots in this area. There is zero competition for Tesla. Zero. That's why Tesla are very well aware that the smartest thing they can possibly do right now is not manufacture 10 million Model 2s per year, uh, $25,000 EVs. They're great. Yeah, Tesla are going to do that. But clearly, you can only make so much money doing that. Clearly, you can make a hell of a lot more money if you have robots capable of doing nearly anything.